Hi, I'm Abe, and this is my reporter for my Rube Gold machine. Rube Gold Gold machine is to open this door, and it all starts. Press the button. The crop gets blown up, and which fires the water. When the creeper spawn, the creeper gets pushed down and hits the pressure plate, which will activate the hopper of my car, which just flow down, bounced up, over, across by slime box, back on the track, and the crop and the hopper is going around, and the screw is activated as the rotational the rotational movement gets turned into an upward. The lava gets spit out, comes to shred to little slivers, and it's going to turn the water into stone. And when that happens, you'll see that. If I just wait, there we go. The armor stands gets flown across. A little delay. This zipper gets snipped. And the door is open. And apparently, there's nothing good in the door, as there's nothing here. Well, that was a waste of time. But, regardless, here is the Rube Goldberg machine. So it was a little hard to tell at first, but what happened was that after the button was pressed, there's a little bit of a delay. The dispenser, filled with bone meal, will dispense onto this carrot. When the observer will detect the carrot being hit, powered, and it'll shoot out water. At the same time, from the original signal, a creeper will be spawned by this dispenser. You will flow down, throw the gunpowder, and there's the creeper. And this uh, redstone block is just far enough away so when the redstone travels up the redstone line, uh, not redstone line, up to the rails, it won't power this one. When you hit this, I, I don't need this. But when you hit the pressure plate, it does get powered. That's that's why the, um, the dark creeper in the way. That's how the uh, hot ranker gets pushed goes down, and over here we have a detector rail, which will detect the power of the piston, which will bounce it up. Up here we have a string, so when the hopper minecart gets hit, gets comes up here, it gets detected by the string. After a little bit of delay, the slime block will then push it over, and the same thing happens over here. And then it gets pushed back onto the track. Now the track goes, although it may seem like because this is hopper minecart, it's transferring an item. I was planning on doing that, but I designed all this with an empty hopper of my cart, but if you do one with an item in it, it won't actually work. I'll show you here. I've got a redstone block, and I have a hopper of my cart in my inventory. It won't actually work the same way. It'll get. It won't go as high for some reason. I was all. I, this was very annoying to deal with. It was getting very difficult to figure out which way it was going. Yeah, see how it doesn't go as far forward. So I had to just cut that, and instead what I did is I put a detector rail, which goes down here, powers this piston, which will, well, the hop, the redstone block was up here, so the hopper's locked, the, ho the item is not moving. But then what it did was it pulled it down, now the hopper is unlocked, the, hop the item is moving. And that way, the item can go around and give off its power. But you may notice there's redstone block here, that's because when the diamond blocks reach in front of the observer, it powers this command block, which sets this to a redstone block. If I wanted to reset it and start it again, I'd remove it, but it would just instantly get back because the movement will detect. Also, there are items with that command block is making sure there's an airspace here so the diamond block doesn't break this redstone. Yeah, and then obviously the other thing that's more important to the rest of the circuitry is this, the dispenser with a log bucket. Because this will get powered twice just by the way it moves, like it gets the machine gets to fire twice before, like the first, the machine gets to fire a second time before the first one has this unpowered. So that way it's two ticks which will put out the lava, and like this, then it'll take it back in. Which I don't really have enough to bucket on me. And it gives it just enough time to disperse into the little floating, not floating, little small slivers of lava, which turn the flowing water into stone. Then that, that the observer detects it. And signal, which will, in time, it will push this over, push these armor stands over, one after the other, and push them back. Nice, give me a nice effect. The line continues and goes up here, which does the quote unquote cutting of the line, which isn't actually happening because that's not how Minecraft works. What instead is happening is this, which fills the block with air, and then this, which fills it with a quartz block. So, it gives the effect of it being pushed together, and you may know it, you may have noticed that this was in the center there. And then here's where the real magic happens. 
under the ground, we have rows upon rows of command blocks. So what these command blocks are doing is, these are filling with air. These are filling some with fence. This, filling with concrete. And this, filling with air again. So, what's happening here is there's two sections of the, what's it called, head creeper. There's two sections of this. There's one that's just uh, nether brick fences going up, which what we do for that is we just make it so air, air, air gradually higher and higher, so there's less and less until they're filled with all of air. And on the other side, it's a little bit more complicated because you have to move this block down, but also have the fence following. So, this one, if I could fall down, this is doing the nether brick fence removal, and then the, uh, these other three are all for this other side on the right. One of them is saying, oh hey, this this needs to go down lower. What are we going to do? We're going to fill, instead of it being like up here, it was like this. What is it saying is, oh hey, we should fill this spot to this spot with air. And it does that. Then one redstone tick later, it fills in with the fence block. And at the same time it's removing, the one below, below it is being filled in by another command block. So that's really interesting, and uh, I have a reset button here which just sets it all back to normal, as you can see. It gives it a really nice effect um, of something being cut and then being moved over like a pulley, but also just like something being cut. And then the last thing here, we have an observer which detects that this, this block has been removed, which sends a signal via this observer observing this observer, which is observing. <laughs> Um, which was in this redstone, um, it's comparator clock, not clock, comparator pulse extender. That way the pulse is long enough for her to keep the door open long enough for me to be able to come from around up here up to the top. Yeah, you can see how, like, like I was saying earlier about this. So yeah, that was my Rube Goldberg machine. Complicated and unnecessary, just because you can open the door.